What it really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby, yeah, we're golden They're yeah, about to see it shine Welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Apex Legends video. Now in today's video, we're going to do something slightly different. We're doing a guide on Gibraltar. Now Gibraltar is one of those characters that I looked at and I just thought, yeah, okay, he's he looks pretty beefy, he looks pretty cool, but um, I'm going to give him a miss. So for the first few days, I never really touched him at all, if I'm being honest, and I don't know how it is for wherever you guys live, whether you're in Europe like myself or if you're in the States, but in a lot of the games that I play and have been playing, you don't really see Gibraltar being picked that often. Now, I don't know whether that's because he's being slept on um, and people just think, oh, he's big and hefty, so he's going to be slow. Oh, I don't really understand his shield, you know, his dome. Or whatever the reason is, I don't know. I, I just don't seem to come across him often. So that's why I thought, why not? I'm going to play him. Give it, give, get, get, you know, some time behind him. Try and understand his play style. Try and understand best ways of playing him, so I can bring you guys a quick guide on the channel. So here we are. So obviously we've got some gameplay in the background now. Both these um, clips of gameplay you're going to see is, uh, was quite late at night, and I was just playing with some random players. So um, you know, you know what it's like when you jump into this game with randoms. It can be quite, quite hard and quite awkward. But we jumped in here, as I said, was on the roof. My teammates left me, but we managed to. We got surprised. We got flanked by this by this uh, pathfinder, I think it was. Jumped down on me, but we managed to get the drop on him because of his passive. Gibraltar's passive is so important and it's so clutch. When you do when you do use your ADS, so when you aim down the sights, as you could see there a few seconds ago, Gibraltar has a shield, a mini shield that pops up now. This is very important, as as you know yourself, if you've played Apex Legends, most of the time, if you're in close combat, you wanna, you know, hip fire, strafing, jumping around, so you're not really aiming down the sights, but with Gibraltar, he's very, very lethal up close, for the fact that he's very tanky. As you can see here, that finish off the lifeline there, knocked her down. I was about to finish her, and then I heard that her teammate was coming. Didn't have enough time to shot the doors and finish her off, but there you go. Aim down the sights, very close combat. Got the shield up. It, it, it keeps you alive, guys. Just always, 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 when you're Gibraltar, try to aim down sights as much as possible. It does obviously run out, but it doesn't take too long for it to come back. And as you can see here, managed to finish, finish her off, wipe the team out, that's job done. But yeah, as I was saying, a lot of times with characters and legends, you don't aim down the sights, you're just hip firing, but Gibraltar is, is the, the king of up close and personal combat for the fact that obviously he's the only champion that when you aim down the sights you've got that shield there which is p perfection so yeah uh, sadly the, the <laughs> just want to touch on this here sadly the other guy he got downed and then he died but for some reason although I was going to revive him he decided to drop out of the game but whatever it is what it is so we were down we were left with bloody myself and this lifeline now unfortunately this lifeline was quite new to the game so it was pretty much a solo it was <laughs> pretty much myself playing against a load of teams but yeah and anyway let's move on to his next ability is the shield it's the dome the massive dome that he chucks down this is so important a lot of people use this in the wrong way well i think it's the wrong way they'll be dying or you know they'll be getting shots fired at them so what they'll do is they'll chuck the shield down which is fine but then they'll go ahead and sit in the, or stand in the middle of it now you cannot shoot bullets through it and you also cannot shoot bullets out of it so of course that's going to be a huge problem because yes you're 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 safe you're secure from people shooting you but you can't pop any shots off at anyone so the way i use it and the way i think everybody should really use this is the only time you should go in the middle of the shield is if you need to revive one of your teammates which there's a clip coming up in, in a little while later on in the gameplay where you'll see that one of my teammates got downed and I believe I, I, I might be wrong but I believe I revived him inside the shield but that's the only time that I ever normally stand inside the shield for any length of time 
what I normally tend to do is if I hear shots popping off at me or see them or get hit, I'll throw the shield down immediately and run through the shield and out the other side to use it as cover because obviously they can't they can't shoot through it so you're safe and also they can't really tell if you've left the, the dome or not because nine times out of ten, like I said, most players that use Gibraltar, you'll see it yourself, you'll notice if they're really hurt, they'll throw the shield down and they'll sit in the middle and they'll heal which allows the enemies to push up on them, flank on them, and of course, finish them off while they're weak. So that's a, that's a pro tip there, guys. Chuck the shield down, run through the shield whilst you're healing, but come out of the, come out of the other side and flank them. Try to use it as cover and basically, you know, find a route to flank the enemy team because they're going to, they're gonna, I can near enough guarantee it, they're going to run to go into the shield because they think you're going to be in their healing. So, yeah. And then his ultimate is I. It's it's a very very strong ultimate, much like Bangalore's, but it doesn't move from one location to the other. So it's very very central. It's um, it's just a heavy artillery strike basically. It rains down a lot of damage. Um, I believe I'll use it in a moment, so you'll be able to see what I'm saying. But here I saw obviously a guy I've kind of hunting down. I, he looked like he was a solo player, but. As I got up on the hill here, as you'll see, there was another teammate here. There was a uh, Bloodhound, there you go. Shot him. I was, trying to, I was trying to use aim down sights as much as I can, but with the um, Peacekeeper, sometimes you want to just quickly get the hip fire. But as you can see, chuck the shield down, and then I thought, well, let's get the ultimate out. But I, what I done was, like I said, I ran past the shield, then I used my ultimate, and as you can see, it's very, very, very strong. It rains down a lot of damage on the players. It, look, there you go. It's very, very centralized though. It just goes on the one location. I managed to knock one, but as you can see, I had like 10 HP, so I had to fall back and heal. And in that time, his um, teammate managed to down my, my teammate and then obviously revive his. I'm not sure what happened here. The game seemed to have frozen. It didn't freeze when I was playing it, but on the playback, for some odd reason, it freezes for a few seconds, but it doesn't matter. Ignore that. And as you can see here, I tried to, you know, get some pop damage off at these guys, aiming down sights as always, like I touched on. Didn't manage to get the kills. My um, teammate, the, the lifeline, but unlucky for them, they managed to get killed and finished off. So, like I said, I tried to recuperate, run away, flank the enemy, you see. So I tried to heal up as much as I could, chuck the dome shield down, like I said. So then it tries to trick the enemy, because then they think I'm obviously inside of the of the shield but I'm not but yeah guys that's I just wanted to make a quick video on some really important I think it's really important ways to play Gibraltar um because I see so many people playing him wrong well I don't want to say wrong because I don't want to put anyone down but it's just mistakes like, like I made them myself you know when I first played Gibraltar I would chuck the shield down and I would sit in the middle of it and um you know just stand there healing forgetting that oh my god clearly the enemies are going to realize that i'm inside the shield they're going to come in pop shots off me or or just completely destroy me um i managed to as you can see here i managed to revive him again for the second time but unfortunately i think within a few seconds of me reviving him the enemy team were on my were on my tail and i just couldn't manage to finish them off so we didn't manage to get the win on this occasion but like i said it was pretty much a, a 1v I was pretty much solo, sadly. Um, you know, it's, it's fine. You're going to come across new players. You're going to have to try and carry them as much as you can. I'm not saying I'm the greatest Apex Legends player. I'm, I, I like to pride myself on I like to think I'm pretty decent. Um, but there you go. See, so yeah, I tried to... I'm standing in the shield here because I was trying to get the lifeline to run into the shield. But for some reason, he didn't want to. <laughs> So yeah, there you go, he got killed again. I thought to myself, look, I'm not going to be able to revive him. I was hoping that he would be downed and then I would try to pick up his card and obviously run around and flank him and revive him again. But sadly, we didn't be able to, I didn't manage to do that on this occasion. But as I was saying, guys, he's very, very tanky. He can absorb a lot of damage for the fact of the passive shield. Now, I... <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, I I feel that his ultimate should be like, as you saw there a few moments ago, 
obviously it's very very powerful and it can kill and down a lot of enemies if you know if you if you positioned it right but i personally believe that it's great to be used as a decoy or not so much a decoy but like a diversion so like i did earlier i threw my uh, like i do now as well i throw my ultimate just to throw the enemies off so i can obviously hide get into cover recuperate try and calm down <laughs> because i don't know about you but when it starts getting intense guys i start getting hyped up and heart rate starts racing because you want to win you really want to win the game you know i'm playing with randoms again so communication wasn't perfect but it was more of a distraction that's why i like using gibraltar's ultimate at, at the late game the very end of the game in a small circle gibraltar's ultimate is perfection because obviously if the circle is small and there's not much cover throw down your ultimate enemy t if there's one squad left they're nine times out of ten that's it they're dead game over job done but on this occasion and on the previous occasion it was more for the fact of I just wanted to get a distraction give me a couple seconds to recuperate heal up you know re refocus my mind and try and think to myself just think of some strategies that I can try and win this fight but um yeah this 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 bit here as we can see if I do a bit of analysis on here we managed to knock the player there I was going to revive lifeline but I thought hold on wait a few seconds no one's coming okay so then it, obviously I revived the lifeline but I just thought yeah let's just do it now the down player that I finished off uh, sorry the down player that I knocked earlier got finished off so that was fine we then got another guy chasing us and then annoyingly Bangalore managed to sprint past us didn't even realise because I couldn't see very well <laughs> and then um, yeah finished them off and then I think my lifeline got knocked down again. It was either the lifeline or a bloodhound got, got got knocked down. And I forgot that there was one more. That's the problem, guys. We always remember it's teams of three. So obviously you knock one, you eliminate one, you eliminate two. Be on the lookout. Obviously sometimes there is duos and there is solos, but always be on the conscious mindset that there's another person looming, which was this guy here. <laughs> it was a mirage. So... And then unfortunately we was, we was smack bang in the middle of the ring in the in the storm sorry i managed to finish him off but my teammates were so low that of course they died i went for the revive managed to get that and i thought oh my gosh i'm too i'm i'm gonna die so <laughs> i thought look let them die let them get killed and i'll revive them in a few seconds but unfortunately i wasn't paying attention to what i just said and I didn't realise that there was only my squad left and also one other team. So I wasn't really concentrating. Because if I was, we probably could have got this victory. But it is what it is, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope these tips... They're very simple tips, but I didn't want to overcomplicate it. I just wanted to have a little chat with you guys. Bring you some, some thoughts of mine. What I've learned from playing Gibraltar quite a fair bit in the last few games. But anyway, give the video a thumbs up. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next guide and I'll catch you on the next one very soon, guys. Peace.